Will the Pride of the X-Men ever make it back to the big screen, or have plans for a Kitty Pride feature officially fallen through the floor? In a recent sit-down with Comic Book, Deadpool director Tim Miller discussed the long-awaited solo feature for fan-favorite mutant Kitty Pride, which he had been developing before Fox Studios' acquisition by Disney earlier this year. His comments were, we're sorry to report, not encouraging. Before the much ballyhooed merger, Miller had been all set to direct the flick from a script by comics legend Brian Michael Bendis. Pride has been a Marvel mainstay for nearly 40 years. With her ability to phase through solid matter and her quirky, sardonic sense of humor, she quickly endeared herself to readers, helping to propel sales of X-Men comics into the stratosphere in the 80s. The character seems like she would have been a fine fit for Miller, who did an excellent job of bringing Deadpool's ass-kicking, profanely humorous aesthetic to the screen in the Merc with a Mouth's first solo outing. Likewise, it would have been fascinating to see Bendis' big-screen take on the character. Among the many heroes he's created for Marvel over the years is Jessica Jones, a tough, complex female character who translated well to live-action in her unfortunately canceled Netflix series. But unfortunately, Miller has confirmed what many fans anticipated. The Kitty Pride project is dead in the water. Miller said, I love the X-Men. I don't expect Marvel to call me and say, come do the X-Men, so I'm not waiting for that. I was really excited about my Kitty Pride movie. It'll never happen now. The X-Men don't have room for Warney Brights! Just who are you calling Warney? I'll show you! I'll hold it, Kitty! Miller's comments are a pretty radical departure from Bendis' response when he was asked for an update on the project this past February. In a response to a fan query on Twitter, Bendis said that he was working on the script at that time, failing to even make mention of the impending acquisition of the studio which had greenlit the film. Alas, things seem to have taken a significant turn for the worse for the project in the intervening months. And that's not all the bad news that Miller has had to endure as of late. His second feature directorial effort, Terminator Dark Fate, flopped mightily at the box office despite relatively solid reviews, making it another franchise that probably won't be coming back anytime soon. We're of the opinion, though, that the Helmer shouldn't be quite so pessimistic. Deadpool was a rousing success, single-handedly proving that R-rated superhero pictures were viable in today's age of non-stop PG-13 blockbusters. It remains to be seen if Disney will bring him into the fold to put his talents to use with a new Marvel property, but it'd probably be a good idea to reach out. While nothing is official yet, all signs are indicating that Marvel Studios will eventually give the green light to a third Deadpool movie at some point in the near future. Star Ryan Reynolds, who was born to play the role, has openly expressed his hope that the threequel would get greenlit sooner rather than later. And the writers of the first two installments, Rhett Reese and Paul Wernick, are confident that it's just a matter of time before the flick is put into production. For that matter, Marvel Studios' brass have indicated that they expect to eventually recast every member of the X-Men except Deadpool. And Disney CEO Bob Iger has publicly said that the Mouse House would be just fine with Marvel making an R-rated superhero film. Add this to the fact that Reynolds was recently seen popping by Marvel Studios' offices for a visit, and it all adds up to the strong possibility that we'll get some news about Deadpool 3 before too long. Other than a potential third outing for Deadpool, though, it looks like every single one of the Marvel-related projects that were in development at Fox before the merger are dying on the vine. The Channing Tatum starring Gambit, in development for the better part of a decade, recently received a vote of no confidence from formerly attached director Doug Lyman. Logan director James Mangold had said that a planned spin-off featuring Daphne Keene's X-23 is unlikely to happen, and James Franco's Multiple Man failed to reach a significant stage of development before the merger, meaning that it, too, is almost certainly done for. So good. It simply makes more sense for Marvel Studios to develop these characters for the screen in their own inimitable fashion rather than to continue on the course that Fox was plotting especially after the critical and commercial failure of the final Fox-produced X-Men film Dark Phoenix. Having said that, a Miller-directed, Bendis-scripted Kitty Pride flick sounds like something we would want to see. And if Marvel head honcho Kevin Feige has any designs on introducing the character into the MCU, he could do worse than to bring the pair in for a chat. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite comic book movies are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.